Hello there, it's Sandy, and this video is a real short one today. It's in response to somebody who asked how to put a pocket onto an apron, because I have an apron in my book, and it doesn't really indicate a pocket. So I thought I would give that a try. I'm doing it here in the book because it's a nice big image, and I can talk about making stripes look like they're crisscrossing across a pocket, but the page that I did in my Bible you saw was just, you know, a headless body standing there because I don't do faces all that well. So I decided to just do the body with the apron on it. And here I'm using Inktense pencils and they are an ink based pencil. They act like watercolor pencils, but Inktense pencils are brighter and stronger in color. but They also don't lift. So if you're trying to mix some colors, a lot of times with something like Inktense pencils, you can't get blending going, you can't get soft edges at some times. So here I've drawn basically a rectangle that's a little smaller at the bottom and a little bigger at the top and put some rounded edges on the bottom of it. And when you've got two pieces of fabric like this that has a pocket, it could be a pocket on a jacket, pocket on a, an apron, pocket on anything, then Generally, even if you're a seamstress who's obsessive about trying to make sure those those patterns line up perfectly, when you're making artwork like this and you want to create the illusion that there's a pocket that maybe has some dimension to it or something like that, it helps to offset a little bit when you're doing the drawing portion. If you were to just make the stripes go completely through, you'd have to worry about all the shading. But by doing what I'm going to be doing here by offsetting, you can get away without having to do any shading. You're just going to do it by indicating the pattern is moving over just a little bit. So on the left side, I'm going to move it to the left. And then my I didn't count my stripes very well when I was doing the center portion. Should have been one more stripe in the middle. But on the right side, I'm going to offset the stripes to the right just a, a little tiny bit and that makes it look like the pocket has some dimension to it. It's a really simple visual trick that you can use with a lot of different things. If you wanted to do this verse from Colossians that one of the things that it says to be clothed with is kindness, you could do any kind of article of clothing. It could be just the corner of a jacket pocket and you know could just be that corner of the fabric instead of having to draw a person because I know a lot of us, like I don't like to draw people all that much because my people end up looking awkward. The physical stance in the one that I drew in my Bible was looking a little awkward to me, but you know, is what it is. It's creative worship. It's not like frameable art, so that's okay. But for the most part, I try to see if I can find a way to avoid the parts that I don't want to draw or that I don't know how to draw. And someday, hopefully, I will change that. With Inktense pencils, you can either use them just as regular pencils and just color with them or use a brush and some water. And here I'm using a silver brush to just dip into some water and move across the paint. I'm doing all the yellow first and then I'll do the red second. I'm leaving a little stripe in between them so I'll have absolutely no worries about any kind of bleeding going on between the colors. But there's the little one that I did also in Inktense pencil. I put the pocket in the middle and I just left a white highlight even across the top of it because you couldn't really see the offset pocket stripes very much but there you go so I hope that was a helpful answer to Sherry's question and I will see you guys again next week take care if there's ever anything in my book that you want me to do a little demo on let me know talk to you later